There have been many great and powerful empires that ruled throughout the history of the world, and this world has existed for a long time. But one of the greatest, most impactful civilizations was Imperial China. Okay, there might have been a more impactful civilization at some other time in history, but this project's about Imperial China. China had many different dynasties that ruled over different times, and some of these dynasties contributed greatly to the world with their many achievements, governing styles, and inventions that were made. We'll be exploring how certain dynasties ruled and their inventions that ultimately impacted society today. So... How do you start these? As I mentioned before, many dynasties ruled China over different times, but we'll be focusing on these three because if I did all of them, I would have to animate 40 minutes of content. It all started with the Qin Dynasty. It started in 221 BCE, not BC anymore, get it right, and it was the first dynasty to rule China, and they set a great example, except on the leadership part, but I'll get to that later. The Qin Dynasty was very helpful to China, as it was the first time China was unified under one emperor. They were also responsible for building part of the Great Wall. They had a legalist form of government to ensure that the dynasty was successful. This meant that people were given strict laws because legalism believed that all people are terrible and need to be controlled. Take that how you will. Although the Qin dynasty seemed to work well, people weren't satisfied with it, especially because of their leader. Someone named Shi Huangdi declared himself emperor and was not liked very much within the dynasty. Basically, people didn't like paying the taxes he gave them, and he banned certain books about other kinds of government and executed people. Not the best first leader in my opinion. Once Shi Huangdi died in 210 BCE, his son tried to take over, but he was kicked out quickly. This led to the dynasty ending in 206 and replaced with a new one. Great segue into the next dynasty! The Han Dynasty came next, starting right after the Qin Dynasty ended. It was one of the longest lasting dynasties in China, lasting from 206 BCE to 220 CE. During this amount of time, the Han Dynasty had a lot of notable achievements, such as the invention of paper. Their founder was Liu Bang, who was later known as Yao Zhu. Yao Zhu would let feudal lords rule part of his land, and the population and economy thrived under his rule. After him was Wu Di, who started ruling in 141 BCE. He expanded China into Korea and Vietnam. He ruled with bureaucracy and helped to develop the Silk Road trade, which introduced Taoism and Buddhism into China. The introduction of Taoism didn't turn out the greatest for them because Taoism led to rebellions, which led to chaos in the royal court, which led to the dynasty ending in 220 CE. Let's skip ahead to the Tang Dynasty, which had some important inventions that are still relevant today. The Tang Dynasty made the Silk Road safe again and create things like printing, which is how we have copies of books, porcelain, which is used for dishes, clocks for telling time, and gunpowder, which is used for... Uh, yeah. Honestly, gunpowder was a mistake. Tang was started in 618 by Yao Zhu. No, not the one from the Qin Dynasty. Yao Zhu of Tang was originally known by Li Yuan before becoming emperor. Anyways, while Yao Zhu ruled, his son Li Ximin was his chief general. Although he helped gain control over eastern China, he killed his brothers which led him to take the throne after his father died. Despite that, Li Ximin became known as Taizong and was a great leader. He lowered taxes and became a good military leader. After him was Gao Zong in 649, who married Wu Hao. Wu Ho became empress after Gozong died. She conquered Korea between 655 and 675. After Wu Ho died, there were many more emperors who didn't do their jobs well and ended the Tang Dynasty in 907. That was a lot I just went through, I know. Well, that's all! Thanks for listening to me talk about information that you'll probably forget about as soon as this video is done. Let's be real here, you weren't paying attention. Goodbye! <laughs>